Hi everybody, Margaret Edwards, HBBO, your home-based business owner friend on Facebook. And um, I hope this is working. I'm not sure if I'm upside down, backwards, or whatever. Anyway, it looks like you're too far away. I'm going to pull you in a little bit here. How's that? I'm still declutterizing some of my, um, uh, my office here, but arranged a lot, and I found a lot to um, get rid of. A lot of people, the reason I wanted to mention a little video today, and hi, it's been a little while. This is the second week, uh, the finish almost, of the second week of January 2018. And a lot of people are talking about goal setting. They're talking about, you know, maybe vision boards or, or writing down your goals for the year and then expand upon those and do them every month and adjust them accordingly. Now I do mine practically daily and usually twice a day in the morning and in the evening I review. In the evening I review what I've accomplished and what I need to put on to the next day if I didn't get a chance to do it. But the reason I wanted to mention goals is because I like the word achievements better. I think it's something that, it, first of all, it's at the beginning of the alphabet, achieve with the A and if you're if you have a, if you've felt an accomplishment that you've achieved something that you want to achieve even more then that's that's it's a good thing don't you think I'd like to have your opinion on that that'd be cool so you have to focus on it but here's some things I was listening to a call this morning and I jotted down some notes so I'm going to read some of those notes to you so you can kind of see what I'm talking about First of all, you have to create your vision. And I like to visualize mine every morning, every night, and during the daytime as well. It, you know, just kind of mentor on it and think about what I want to achieve, my goals. Um, and uh, I think not only that, you have to put them into categories. For instance, your wellness, your health, your weight, your uh, who you want to help have help you uh, get to your weight goals and your wellness goals. Personal development goals. What are you going to read? Who are you going to hire as a coach and a mentor? Who do you have? Who's your support group out there? What's your dream car, your dream lifestyle, your dream home? And, and, and those sort of things. Those are kind of fun ones to kind of think about. But make sure that you put it on a vision board or, or visualize it. That these are the things you want to accomplish in 2018. Another one is what is your income going to look like? What, um, what events are you going to attend? And, and why do you want to attend them? Uh, outsourcing. Outsourcing is a biggie. I'm going to be doing a lot of outsourcing this year. I'm kind of lining that up a little bit. And lifestyle. What kind of lifestyle do you want to live? And where do you want to live? And who do you want to hang out with? And do you want to travel? Where do you want to travel? And when do you want to get there? And how are you going to get there? Are you going to be able to take those trips uh, without any financial or time constraints? You know, stay at the best hotel, stay at the best this or the that whatever it can can um, whatever you want eat at the best restaurants and stay at the best lodging facilities you want to go for so that was I thinking that the achievements was a better word than goals because not only is I think it's a, a much nicer word I, just me but uh, something I'd like you to think about is what's your why but not only your why as to why you want to achieve these goals and live that lifestyle and create that abundance and, and be blessed in your life, but why do you want that why? What's the desire you're, you're intending? What's your outcome? What, what's, what's, your, what's your vision? What are you thinking you really want and who's going to benefit from it? Are you going to benefit? Is your family going to benefit from it? Uh, and how are you going to help others and help them benefit? So there you go. There's a good one. So, but before you start all this, and the reason I pointed out my little, little mess, it was a lot messier, <laughs> believe me, but um, it's a little messy, but um, one of the things I think we need to do before we do our why, before we work on our vision, although that we should work on our vision every day, 
but what are what we want to achieve meditate on it and all that stuff is i think we need to clear the clutter the clutter in our heads the clutter of our vision the clutter of our closets the clutter of our garage get everything ready to go to the shredder get rid of all those old documents and donate whatever you need to donate in the way of maybe you've cl uh, cleaned out like i did i cleaned out my closets i cleaned out the garage my husband helped me with that one um, and a lot of it is going to be donated to people who could use it because they're still good. Um, I still have clothes that I maybe wore seven, eight, ten years ago, but I like them. They don't go out of style usually, but maybe it's time to get rid of those and get some new ones just to make me feel better, right? So um, that's kind of what I wanted to mention today about the goals, goal settings vision, achievements, what your, what your dreams are and why do you have those dreams? Who are you going to hire as a mentor and who are you going to align yourself with uh, as a coach or, or your support group? Create a mastermind group. That would be awesome. Um, so think about what your dreams and your desires are and your goals are. And let's set a, not only a dream board or a vision board, let's create an, a, um, an achievement board, an abundance board. What do you think? You like that idea? Anyway, this is Margaret Edwards, HBBO. I'm broadcasting from Tracy, California in my home office. And that's another thing I'm going to declutter is that up there. I have some ideas that a friend of mine and colleague, Ellen, uh, Evelyn Keller, suggested to me. and Or gave me the idea anyway, because I like her office. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you have a fantastic 2018. As you can tell, it's a little cool. The fog rolled in, so it's a little dank and, and uh, dreary outside, but at least it's not raining. I like the sunshine better, but it's all good. We need the rain here in California, although some people have been inundated, poor people, uh, with some true tragedies in 2017 and recent mudslides down south. Um, and may you all be blessed. Uh, may you overcome your challenges and um, if you look at your challenges as being something to overcome because they're going to things are just going to get better right so anyway thank you so very much for watching and i'm going to have to figure out I'm, i am learning a new thing on um, youtube to get my videos out there and thank you christy matthews for introducing me to that i'm just not a very patient person when it comes to learning new things but i've got to I, that's one of my achievements, is become a little bit more patient. Anyway, hope you have a fantastic 2018, uh, a terrific Friday, Friday the um, 12th, and have a great weekend, okay? So I look forward to hearing about your dreams, your ambitions, and your achievements that you want to achieve in 2018. Be blessed and have all the abundance and blessings you have and be grateful for all the, be, let me put this this way, be grateful all the blessings and abundance you have and all the blessings and abundance coming your way. This is Margaret HBBO, uh, Margaret Edwards HBBO, your home-based business owner friend on Facebook. And I look to, forward to connecting with you and chatting with you soon. All the best for 2018. Bye for now.